Hi everybody and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial which is going to teach you how to make a sound like this one. I just want to tell you that this tutorial is a basis of work and uh, you can use different parameters and values. I give you some values and parameters because they worked with my my work with my son and maybe you're going to change them to have different work, to have a different style, uh, it is up to you. I create a new composition here, I don't need to give him a name for the moment, I choose OK, I put right click, new, solid, I give a name for my layer, sun of course, and I choose at this place the black color, OK and OK. Now I go on the right and I type noise. I'm going to choose the fractal noise. I deposit on my sun layer. I'm going to change the contrast. I choose 112. For the brightness, less 20. In the complexity, I can put 20 because my computer is really good, really strong. Now I'm going to animate my fractal noise, my son. I go at the beginning of my timeline and I click here on evolution. I go at the end of my timeline and I'm going to give a value of 5. Now, as you can see, when I move the timeline, the sun is animated. Now I'm going to give a color to my son. I go on Effects and Presets and I choose Curves. I deposit on my layer and I'm going to change the colors one by one. I choose Red for the moment and I increase it. I now choose the blue color and I decrease it. Now I'm going to change my layer here into a sphere. I type here sphere and I choose the CC sphere. I deposit, of course, and I have my sphere. Now I'm going to change the values. The radius is going to be changing 559. I put the light intensity in 155. The light height maybe yes 83 and I go on the shading part I'm going to change the ambient 43 the diffuse is going to stay at 100 I change the specular to 78 I can select the internal shadows now I'm going to add a glow to my sun of course I type glow here, I depose on the layer, and I'm going to change the values. The glow threshold is going to be changed into 77. I'm going to increase the glow radius to 168. The intensity is going to be decreased, and the color loops for Point four. I change the color of the sun. I choose the two colors of sun, yellow and the red. OK. And I change the position of the sun as I wish here. Now we're going to create the eruptions of the sun. I put right click, new, solid, I give a name, eruptions, and I choose here the black color, ok. I go on effects and presets, and I choose the fractal noise, like the sun. I put the eruptions under the sun layer, and I'm going to create a circle for my eruptions. 
I click Shift and I drag the mouse. I displace the mask here. Okay. I deselect the toggle mask. I go on the mask feather and I change the value. I change the contrast 154 and the brightness. I put 12 for my complexity and I'm going to animate the eruption like for the sun. I click on the chronometer. I go at the end of my timeline and I put the same value than the sun, 5. It's okay. Now, I'm going to give the color of the eruptions. I'm not going to choose curves on the right, but I'm going to copy the curves of the sun. And I passed it on my hair options. I am going to give a different look to my hair options. I go on effects and presets. I choose vector and I choose the CC vector blur. I place it on the hair options layer. I change the amount. As you can see, the style is really different. I change the map softness. As you can see, you have different look. I'm going to displace a little bit my layer. When I am satisfied of my eruptions, I'm going to duplicate the layer. I choose the eruptions layer and I do Control D to make a copy. I'm going to change here in the evolution options the random seed. I'm going to select again this layer and I do Control D. I make another duplication. I'm going to change the random seed to 3. Okay, I do another Control D, another duplication. But that time, I'm going to displace the eruptions layer above the sun layer. I go on toggle switch and I choose at this place the screen mode. Now we are going to create the earth. As you can see in my final animation, the distance, the size and the scale are not really respected from reality. <laughs> I just wanted to make a really good plan with something we know, the earth. So, this is why uh, the distance, size and scale are not respected. I put a picture of the earth I have taken on internet. I displace here. And as you can see, I have black corners. I'm going to erase them. I choose the ellipse tool. I click shift and I drag the mouse here on the earth. I deselect and I'm going to use the same effects and presets sphere. I take the effect and I have my hair. I'm going to change the radius 69. I displace the hair. And I'm going to add a glow on the earth. I change the glow threshold. The radius. And the intensity. I change here the color loops. And I choose at this place the 
A and B colors. The A and B colors are here. I click on the A. I choose this blue. And for the B, I choose this blue. I'm going to decrease the glow intensity and we are ok. Now we're going to make a rotation of the earth and of the sun. We go on the options of rotation and I'm going to make a rotation on the y axis. I go at the beginning of my timeline and I click on the chronometer of my rotation y. I go at the end of the timeline and I move the rotation and I change the rotation. I'm going to do the same with the sun. I choose the layer, I go on rotation and I'm going to make a rotation with the Z axis. I click on the chronometer, I go at the end, I change the value, and now we have the rotation of the Earth and the Sun. Now we're going to create the stars. You have many solutions in After Effects to create the stars, but I'm going to give you one solution. Uh, you can also use some maps you find on internet uh, where you have the stars, but it is better to create it in After Effects. So, make new solid. I call it stars. I choose the black color here. Okay. And we are going to choose the turbulent noise. I put it on my stars layer and I'm going to change the contrast to 8, 9 and the brightness. I go in transform and I change the scale. As you can see we still have stars. If I want more or less stars, I change the brightness. I increase or I decrease, as you want. Now I'm going to put my layer stars under the others layers in order to be in the background. So I hope this tutorial helped you and as I said at the beginning of this video, you can change the value and the parameters as you want to have the style you want. Now it's time to say goodbye, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you next time!